What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay. So we're here. We are going to the Pokemon League now. In our last episode, yes, I was a little upset. I was cussing up a storm mainly because of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, stuff that could have been prevented and all that stuff. I do apologize for that. Again, sorry for the cussing. Trying to minimize that. And, uh, well... It is time for us to go to the Pokemon League, and obviously, we have defeated all eight gym leaders to get to this guy, or to get to this next castle right here. Now, obviously, there are four trainers, and then plus the champion. It's the same thing as in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. The only thing is, you can't use healing items, and it is a three-on-three -three battle in all five battles right here. Now, what I'm trying to do here, well, which I am going to be doing, is we are going to be taking on all five members of this whole elite group right here. As you can see, you got Lorelai. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Girlfriend right there. Beautiful. You got Bruno, who I aspire to be when it comes to like brutality. Agatha, the brains of this whole thing. I want to be smart like her. And Lance. He, he's trying to be Batman and all that stuff. So, obviously we already know what Pokemon he, they have. What Pokemon are we going to be using? Now, the thing is... I did use Mewtwo in the last one. There's no need for me to be using him right here because, well, you know... It wouldn't be fair. We're going to be using six of, six of the best Pokemon we got in order to get past this whole area. Obviously, Hydra is a Pokemon that we've been using every so often. Thrasher, and then... Let's go straight for Godzilla Godzilla. Kid Thunder has been a help right here. And the last Pokemon we need to use for this whole adventure right here. Let's see. This is the hard one because, yeah. Let's see. We got. We don't want to. We don't. We don't want to have multiple weaknesses. Multiple Pokemon of the same weaknesses. So we're going to have to go. Let's see. We could be using Tank right here. I kind of want to use Tank. Screw it. Let's see. Muta Uno. Okay. So we do have a hard hitting team. And it looks like to me we're going to be using tank number two for this adventure right here. Now, it's four major battles plus the elite four, or plus the champion. So as you can see, Lorelai does not play around. We are going to have to be battling strategically for this one right here. So we're going to go with these guys right here. Let's go. Bring it. Popping my, uh, I am popping my knuckles right here. We're going to start off with Kid Thunder. Obviously, because she does have a combination of water and ice type Pokemon right here. And, well, we are faster. Let's go, Kid Thunder. Use the Thunder Attack. Thunder Attack. Goes. And it missed. God dang it. And, of course, Body Slam is going to mess us up right here. Obviously, doesn't paralyze us, which is good. So, let's go again and, and, and attempt this Thunder Attack now. Luckily for us, we did not get paralyzed, so this will actually... Hopefully, we'll, we'll be good for two attacks, and as you can see, Lapras takes that first attack, and here comes a Blizzard attack. Oh, God, not my favorite move. We miss, or he misses, or she misses. God dang. Sorry about the whole gender rising, guys. So here we go again. Kit Thunder, let's go for a Thunder attack again. Let's get it. God dang it. And do you see, guys, do you see the reason why I I will always pick Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flamethrower over their more powerful counterparts? Because we got a 70% 70, 70 uh, accuracy rate. Not the best side. So, here we go. We're going to go with our good old buddy Hydra. Mainly because it does have a nice amount of moves that we can use to beat these guys. So, let's go Thunderbolt Attack. Two against three. Okay, so here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. Super effective. And damn it, Lapras just... Oh, god dang it. Okay. And here comes a body slam. Please don't get paralyzed. Ball sack. Okay, so... Yes, we are not very too well right now. Oh, god. Good gravy. It's going to have to take some luck, guys. Real luck to actually beat these guys. And here comes Blizzard. And we get hit. Not good, not good. So, Thunderbolt, finish him. And there goes Lapras. 
That's right. Don't mess with Hydra, number one. So, uh, we are at a huge disadvantage right here because I may have chosen incorrectly. If she chooses one second type Pokemon, we are screwed. And here she comes out with Articuno. That is mainly the reason to why I chose both Hydra and Electabuzz, or Thunkit Thunder right here. And, well, here comes its uh, Sky Attack. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt. Come on, finish it. Critical hit. And it is a critical hit. Damn it. Does not finish this Pokemon off. Yeah, we are kind of screwed right here because Sky Attack is a very powerful attack. Here it comes, turning into a lap. Oh, it missed. Oh, damn. We are saved. Let's go. Thunder. I completely forgot that uh, Sky Attack was a very inaccurate move. There we go. Coming in hot again. Okay. Alrighty. So it's a one, a two-on-one battle right here. Let's go, Hydra. And yeah, she chooses Dugong. Dugong. Okay. Let's go. Thunderbolt. Come on, baby. Thunderbolt. And here comes the Aurora Beam. And this one will almost defeat us. And yes, we get one more hit in before Dugon finishes us up off, and it is paralyzed. Okay! <laughs> Please be faster than Dugon right now. So it's a battle of the paralysis. Come on! Let's go, Hydra. We are faster in paralysis form, and here we go. Super effective. Nearly beat this. Oh, God. Don't move. Don't move. God dang it. Well, Hydra. Hydra came through. Hydra came through for us, and well, it is okay, guys. We got the right Pokemon for this job. We were saving our best for last. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. One of the most broken Pokemon you'll ever find. Alakazam. Alrighty. <sighs> okay, so you see that, 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 that deep breath? Yes, we know we have one, so here we go. Psychic Attack for the win. And there goes Dugong. Throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so there is a victory for us. Our girlfriend Lorelai, of course, gave us a good battle. But it is what it is. That's one down, three more to go. Now remember, guys, if you defeat one and decide to save and quit, yeah, you're going to have to start all over. That's how this game works right here. And it looks like we're going to be breezing through this this one right here. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use uh, the obvious Pokemon for the job right here. Okay, let's go. So sad that we have to use limited amount of Pokemon, guys. It really is. So here we go, Ultra Psycho, ready to go. And here we're going up against a Rhydon. And, well, Rhydon, of course, has a huge or high defense right here. More than likely... He came out with this rock type Pokemon just to fuck with us, and there it is. Psychic attack nearly takes him out right here. And here comes a body slam. Why are you trying to paralyze me? Yeah, or take out my Ultra Psycho, which is, you know, very weak on special or on the physical defense. So let's go ahead and finish off this Raidon right here. Let's go. Psychic attack for the win. Say goodbye to Raidon. Okay, alrighty. So who's next? Like Goldbrick says, who's next? Please let it be a fighting type Pokemon, and it is. Yes, okay. Alrighty, so hopefully we breeze by, and this guy made the, the bad choice of choosing two fighting type Pokemon rather than one. Let's go, Ultra Psycho. Finish him. And he bends his spoons, and there goes Hitmonlee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together, guys. I really There's do. In the okay, so who Pokemon. who is the next Pokemon you want to take on us? And it is an Onyx. So either either or we're gonna win this. The Onyx might might take out my Ultra Psycho, the but I will good. always give it the first hit right here. So here we go, another Psychic What's Attack, that? critical hit, please. No, but it does give it a nice hit, and there it goes. Good God. Okay, so seriously, who said Bruno? Oh God, never mind. I'm ready. I always have the best time against Bruno. Oh God. Quick work. I think that was like a minute or two, or two minutes. Two minutes of defeating Bruno. So let's go ahead and go straight for Agatha right here. 
Okay, bring her on. Let's go, old lady. You want a piece of this? And the majority of her Pokemon are weak against Psychic-type Pokemon, so... Let's see. Okay, I think I know what Pokemon I'm going to be using. This guy and this guy. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, so here we go, uh, going up against Agatha, the Ghost-type Gym Leader. And remember, there, there are only three Ghost-types in Generation 1 right now. And the majority of them, also Poison-type Pokemon, so that won't fare well to, the, uh, to Agatha. So here we go, Psychic Attack. And there goes Muck. And it does have one good attack in it. It is a very tanky Pokemon, and, well, we are poisoned. Good gravy. Okay. So, let's see. We gotta we gotta beat this guy quickly. So here we go. Psychic attack. For the win. And there it goes Muck. And thankfully, by, like after defeating one Pokemon, that poison won't hurt us by the next turn. So we get a free turn of not getting hurt by poison. And who is the next Pokemon? Please. Okay. Venusaur. Alright, the right Pokemon for this job right here. Let's go, Psychic Attack right here. Let's go. I know for a fact Venusaur is not faster than us, so here it is. Psychic Attack. Another tanky Pokemon going down. Ooh, survives. And yes, we're getting hurt by Poison, and here comes a Razor Leaf. Please miss, please miss! And it missed. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Another Psychic Attack. Alrighty, I'm happy. I'm happy for this. Psychic attack. Does it. Critical hit. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're, 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 we're kicking some butt right here. Another free turn of, pint, of poison free stuff. And who is she coming out with? Golbat. Okay, so I know we're gonna beat this guy now. The remaining Pokemon count is three even if we don't, like, even if we don't uh, make this Pokemon faint all the way, we're still gonna win. Here comes a Psychic Attack. Super effective. And there goes Golbat. Throwing out that peace sign. What now? Okay. So, there you go, guys. Another battle. That's three down. One more to go in the Elite Four before we face the champion, and uh, look at that. Agatha has been defeated. This next trainer is going to be a hard one because he is a Dragon-type trainer, and obviously there's only one drag or one line of dragons. And he does have uh, quite a few other Pokemon. God dang it. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to have to act very, very strategic. Very strategic. Okay, so let's see. This last Pokemon right here is, uh, yeah, make or break Pokemon right here. So let's go. We're going to have to go with this guy right here. So here it is, guys. The final battle in the Elite Four Challenge. Going up against Dragon-type trainer Lance. And just as I predicted, he comes out with a Dragonair. And, well, let's go with the Ice Beam. As Well, the funny thing is that back in the day... Not a lot of people knew about this Ice-type uh, super effectiveness against Dragon-type Pokemon. We all thought that Dragon-types were, like, invincible. It wasn't until, like, maybe Generation 2 or 3 where they started disclosing that, yeah, well, Dragon-types are weak against, uh... They are weak against uh, Ice-type Pokemon. And then those, you know, those Dragon-types that knew how to fly. Yeah. And... Please miss... God dang it! Okay, so... We're unable to move right here. God damn. So... This is uh, this is all bad for us because Rap Attack in this one right here, yeah, Rap Attack in this game is a continuous attack and they won't let you attack right here. All right, come on, come on, three turns, three turns. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna get real boring real quick, guys. So this is a very very strategic attack. Paralyze your Pokemon and wrap it. It is a continuous flow of this whole thing right here and. What's going on? He is he is changing his Pokemon right here. So this actually gives us a little bit of life. And he's coming out with a Gyarados. And I don't know why we didn't attack here. So here comes a Thunderbolt from that Gyarados. And that hits us pretty good. Oh my god. Oh crud. 
Okay, so he's matching us Pokemon for Pokemon. Let's go with Kid Thunder right here. Hopefully we're, hopefully we're faster than this guy right here. So, Plus, it is quadruple damage weaker, so... Let's see. Let's go with a Thunder Attack right here. Come on. Yes, we are faster. Come on, hit him. Finish him. Yes, it is super effective. And there he goes. Gyarados is gone. Okay, alrighty, so uh, we're breathing. We are breathing new life into this game. And please come out with Dragonair. Nope, it's Kangaskhan. I kind of knew he was going to come out with this guy right here. Alright. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and try and paralyze this guy right here, okay? So Kangaskhan can't be faster than us. Let's go, Thunder Punch. It is a very tanky Pokemon right here. And that is a good hit right there. And just like that, it comes out with an Earthquake attack. God dang it. And that is the end of Kit Thunder. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so we got to go with a very, very high high voltage attack right here. So let's go with Thunder. Let's finish this guy off. Thunder. There we go. And, oh, almost takes out Kangaskhan. Okay. Okay, so that is not a complete... It's not a completely bad thing right here, guys. It's, uh... Yeah. Kid Thunder gave us a, an opening. We saved our best Pokemon for last. It is Kid... Or it is Ultra Psycho right here. And there is a huge weakness. And that is Kangaskhan's, uh... HP right here. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. Let's finish this guy off. For Psychic. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Kangaskhan has been defeated. Now, that Pokemon was my fear because it is a very, very tanky one. Plus, it can learn a nice amount of moves. Now, the important part right here is taking on this Dragonair. We are faster. We are stronger. It's over. Psychic attack for the win. Yes, sir. Finish this guy off. Don't get too cocky. Don't get too cocky. Finish him. And there goes Dragonair throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. Woo! So there it is, guys. We defeated the Elite Four. And, you know, obviously, when we should be champions, we're kind of not. So we're going to be facing up against our rival right here. And look at this. We win. That is it. The Elite Four battle has been cleared. And now, we open up the key to our rival right here. Now, the thing is... You cannot just get out of this and then go up against your rival. If you decide to quit, unfortunately, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to rebattle the Elite Four. That's the mistake I made when I was uh, you know when I did it the first time. So this has all culminated to this battle right here, guys. We're gonna be taking on our rival Gary, and uh, well, he does have a nice he does have a nice team right here. Twenty minutes later. Well, as you probably already saw, a few minutes, maybe an hour or two later, I am back to the trainer rival battle again because, well, this guy keeps on uh, busting my chops some, for some odd reason. I am not joking, guys. So, we lost two or three times, and we, have to re we had to restart the whole Elite Four again and again and again, which is complete BS and all that stuff. I mean, if you defeat the Elite Four, why not keep the trainer battle, the, 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 the championship battle, like, open? I don't know. That's just me complaining and all that stuff. But, yes, we, we, we have to do this again, guys. And for this occasion, uh, my original team had done the best it can. So now we're going into this battle with a whole different team with new moves and all that stuff because I am getting sick and tired of this guy. And the main reason is because of his god dang Jolteon. So that is why I brought a special friend for us right here. Now, this right here is... Uh, fuck. This right here... Hold on just a sec. Uh, okay, so let's try this again. So this battle right here is going to be a, a tough one. Because, yeah, he has Pokemon of every typing. Dual typing as well. Uh, you got a Psychic type, Fire type, Water and Ice... And then, uh, 
what was it called? Uh, Grass and uh, Psychic. Oh, I, already, I think I already said that. Yeah. He has a typing of everything. And uh, me just going head on with Mewtwo is just plain stupid because his Jolteon is pretty fast. So might as well take away what he does best. And that is, uh, you know, paralyze people. That's something that I just found out that, you know, he, he does love to use Jolteon. Uh, to paralyze any Pokemon. So we're gonna start off with, uh, of course, Smasher to take away that whole uh, Thunder Wave capability. And luckily for us, Smasher knows Earthquake Attack. And as you can see, Jolteon has Pin Missile. Not so effective against Smasher right here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it didn't really take a lot. Oh wow, it's super effective? How is that super effective? I wanna know. So here we go, Earthquake Attack. And uh, nearly takes out Jolteon. Good God. This thing, does, uh, yeah, this game does not give me a break right here. And here comes a, the good old switcheroo. This is exactly what the champion likes to do and just likes to switch Pokemon in and out. Now, the good thing for us right here is that we do have Ice Punch. So we're not, we're not completely out of the woods. We're going to give him one more hit since this Pokemon is... Uh, you know, is slower than our Smasher right here. And we're gonna give it an Ice Punch right here. And there we go, it is frozen solid. Finally something's going our way. Finally! Okay, so that right there, that right there is our luck. Usually we're getting our butts kicked right here by this guy. So here we go, Smasher going for it again. Yes, we're just gonna keep on pounding this guy. Yeah, frozen solid. Now, if I go for Charizard, if I go for Charizard and all that stuff, and try and use a fire attack, it won't, it, it'll just melt it. And we're just gonna keep it in ice. We're just gonna keep on pounding it, that's right. That's right, Gary, we're gonna be pounding this thing just like your mother right here. So here we go, another ice punch, just to beat Executor. Finally something going our way, and there it is. Executor gets his butt kicked. Finally! Holy bejeebus. Okay, so... Pokemon Who is next? Please let it be Jolteon. And no, he is coming out with an Arcanine, so... We have a huge advantage right here. Huge, huge advantage because... Ground type, Fire type, he's faster, but... Crap, I should have gone with, uh... Damn it, I should have gone with, uh, Earthquake Attack. That, I think that would have worked against this guy right here. Uh, so that missed. Let's see. You know what? I can risk Hydra right now. I can risk Hydra, so we're going to be switching him out. I don't want Smasher getting beaten right here. We're going to play a little bit of something, uh, a little bit of Gary's own game, and that is switch around our Pokemon. Now, I get that Hydra is a flying type Pokemon, but I think Dig still will affect Hydra right here. And no, it missed. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're working with something right here. Alrighty. Okay, go ahead. Go for your body slam. I don't care. Look at that. You hit us, but guess what? We're going to hit you harder right here. So here we go. Surf attack. Come on. Finish him. And it is super effective right there. Nearly takes out Arcanine. I knew it. I knew he was going to come out with Jolteon. And he's going to come out with a Hyper Beam right here. Please miss. And it hits us pretty hard. And we survive. Oh, yes. Finally. Okay. Alrighty. That feeling when you know you're going to win. Oh, yeah, I have that feeling. I have that feeling because now I have the, the, the distinct advantage right here. Three Pokemon to one, and I do have the one Pokemon that it can't affect with its uh, obvious Thunderbolt move. So, yeah, I know I'm going to lose to this guy, but guess what? I got Smasher. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, I dare you. So there it is. Hits us with a critical hit. Yeah, not so... Okay, so that's just one Pokemon. That's one goose egg we're going to give him. So now we're going to be going with Smasher right here. We didn't. I don't even think we're going to have to use Mewtwo for this one right here. So let's go, Smasher. Take away all its Thunder capabilities. Take a Pin Missile attack and finish it off with an Earthquake. It can't go anywhere. So here comes Pin Missile. That's one, two, three, and there we go. Again, how is a bug type move uh, effective against a ground slash poison type? I do not know, but there it is, guys. The finishing blow. Suck it. Okay, the competitive side gets out of me when we're going into the Pokemon League. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So, throwing at the peace sign, flipping you off, Gary. We finally win after three to four attempts right here. This thing is getting recorded, by the way. Not forgetting. And bam! Final battle clear. Look at that. I'm throwing out the peace sign, guys. Okay, so here is our Hall of Fame team. Smasher. The Pokemon that I did not start off with. Some of them are. But, you know, I made the switch. I know we use Frieza, Mewtwo, and all that stuff. But it won't be the last that you'll be seeing a whole bunch of original Pokemon. Here we have Ultra Psycho, the MVP of the team. Godzilla, Godzilla, ready to go. And look at this, Kid Thunder, ready to kick some ass and take some names. He took some ass and, you know, kick some names, or take some names or something. I don't even know how to speak right now. So after defeating the Gym Leader Castle, you will be getting a Pokemon present. And it's usually a Pokemon that is hard to get. Kind of like a starter, an Eevee, or a fossil Pokemon. And as you can see right here, we got ourselves a Bulbasaur. Look at that. Okay, so we have received a Bulbasaur, and yeah, we can go to the professor's lab to get this little bastard right here. So that is exactly what it, we are going to do. We're going to go right here, press this button right now, and the professor will let us know. I was interested with a Pokemon for you. It's in this Pokemon. Take good care of it. Take the ball and tell me what you want to put on it. So here we have the... Let's see. Here we have our good old buddy. Like, she actually, hold on just a sec. Actually, hold on. Choose the right box. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna be switching it. Oh, actually, you know, we do have team. We do have a space right here. Okay. So, we're gonna be putting this Pokemon right here, stored in uh, the Game Boy box number one, and we'll eventually trade it to. Uh, we're eventually gonna be trading it to Pokemon Crystal mainly because. Uh, its name is Sunny, or no, no, um, um, whatchamacallit, Dubasaur. And we do need an extra Pokemon. As you can see, this Pokemon here is damn near perfect. 10 attack, 10 defense, 9 speed, and 12 special. Now, after defeating the Pokemon League, or not the Pokemon League, but the Gym Leader Castle, it, it just, it varies. The Pokemon you get varies. Uh, you can get one of the, the one of the three starters you can get an Eevee you can get a, a fossil Pokemon and uh, hold on let me see there's some other Pokemon you can get in on this but those are some of the Pokemon you can entrust you can get entrusted right here now it's not just for the gym leader castle but it's for the other Pokemon League games too um, let me just go right ahead and get out of here so we've already defeated the gym leader castle now the the biggest task right here is going into the Pokemon Stadium and well look at that four different kinds of pokemon battles or challenges and uh yeah you best believe this is going to be this is going to be a, a uh this is going to be a mission and a half because every single one of these challenges has a different level of pokemon battling and all that stuff so What's going to happen is that after beating Pokemon Stadium 2's, uh, you know, Gym Leader Castle and all that stuff, I will be going into this right here, taking my time uh, just to beat everybody. And I think the first place I'm going to be going to is going to be the Pika Cup right here because Pokemon up to level 15 to 20 are allowed to go in here. And that's usually Pokemon that have not evolved. Um, or you know what? I can go into the Petit Cup, a tournament with many key Pokemon, but don't let down, let your guard down. You will be tested. Now, every single one of these episodes will be two parters. So, yeah, we got a lot of Pokemon games to go. I think the Petit Cup right here. I'm gonna be checking it up. So the rules are pretty simple. Blue panels, qualifying Pokemon, level 45. I believe that you can actually have a team of level 45. Uh, enter six Pokemon, choose three out of the six, obviously 25 to 30 are allowed, maximum three Pokemon, a total of level 80, so yeah, you, like let's just say you can't have all the Pokemon up to level 30 or 25 and all that stuff, you have to mix and match guys. Uh, the max height, 6'8", max weight, 44 pounds, unevolved Pokemon only, no no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. Mew can't attend. Uh, can't attend. Get a continue for a perfect match. So I kind of screwed that up with, uh, you know, the gym leader castle. And the no self destruct rule is right here. Now, let's go right ahead and take a look at 
Let's take a, a look uh, at a competition like the Poke Cup right here. Now, the Poke Cup actually has four levels. Never mind, I'm just talking out of my butt right now. So, if you go straight to the Pokeball right here, let's go straight for the rules. And this will have blue panels, of course. You will have the, you know, the permission to have at least 149 of the Pokemon that you see right here. You can uh, only enter six. Three out of the six Pokemon up to level 50 and 55 are allowed. The maximum level is 155. It's basically the same rules as the Petite Cup, except that you know you have four different levels and it changes every single time. Now in the Pika Cup, this is the low level cup right here. And uh, let's see, the rules are very simple right here too. Uh, let's see, enter six Pokemon, choose three out of the six, levels 20 to 15 are allowed, maximum level is 50, no two Pokemon uh, asleep or frozen, it's basically the same thing except in a lower kind of a competition level right here. And the last but not least, the Prime Cup, this is levels one through a uh, hundred now. There are four levels in this one right here, and the rules, very, very simple. Open to all Pokemon. Enter with six Pokemon. There are no level restrictions and everything. So, for me, this is what's going to be the plan. Uh, we're going to start off with the Petite or Pika Cup right here. More than likely, it's going to be the, uh, the Pika Cup. Because both of these two, uh, two Cup games, one, you know, they're just one, uh, whatchamacallit, one level. Then it looks like we're going to be going into the Poke Cup just to finish all four levels and then to finish it off the Prime Cup. Obviously, once you defeat all of these, you will be unable to battle Mewtwo, the last you know competition right here. It's a one on six Pokemon battle and all that stuff. So that is uh, that, that's the plan for you know the remainder of Pokemon Stadium. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the first part of the Gym Leader Castle. In the next episode, I will... You know, be going into the Petite Cup, I think. Yeah, let's go into the Petite Cup first. And, yeah, we're going to be choosing a whole plethora of new Pokemon and all that stuff. So, uh, comment down below. Send me a suggestion. What you guys want to see on this Pokemon game right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.